Hello and welcome. Would you like to learn how to convert old formats of Microsoft documents to the modern ones? For example, Word Doc to DocX or Excel XLS to ExcelSX? Then you're in the right place. We're going to see how to easily achieve it with the help of Plumsale documents and Power Automate. The benefits of converting include better compatibility, enhanced features, and future proofing. So let's go! And we'll be starting in SharePoint. As you can see, we have a folder in our library where all the files and older formats are saved. Files in doc, XLS, and PPT formats. And I have also created a new folder where all the converted files will be saved. So let's go to Power Automate and let's create an instant Cloudflow. We'll call it Convert Doc to DocX and select Manually Trigger a Flow. As you can see, the new Power Automate Designer is the default option. However, you can always switch back to the older one. We're going to keep designing this flow in the new designer, though it could be a bit jumpy at times. The first action is from SharePoint called Get Files Properties Only. And let's navigate to our SharePoint site called Documentation and find our Documents Library where the files that need to be converted are located. To get only doc files from there, we'll use a very convenient tool like All Data Filter. You can find it in the Advanced Options, and the field is called Filter Query. In our case, we need to set a value for the file's format, and SharePoint libraries have a column with extensions. The file name is file underscore x0020 underscore type. So the query will be the same, file underscore x0020 underscore type equals or eq in our data syntax and doc. Value should be put between single quotes. Next, find SharePoint action called get file content. Again, we select the same SharePoint site and in the file identifier field, let's select dynamic content identifier. As you can see, control for each pops up automatically and we can add more actions inside this loop. It's very useful because now the flow will parse each item that was pulled from the SharePoint library using the preceding action, get files properties only. In our case, it will parse and convert doc into docx format. And now we're going to use Plumsale documents connector called convert doc to docx. As I just mentioned, we'll add it inside the loop for each. In the Documents Content field, we select File Content from the previous step. And if this is your first time connecting Plumsale documents within Power Automate, it will prompt you to add an API key. Don't worry, it's pretty easy. You can go back to your Plumsale documents account, click on API, generate the key, and copy-paste it back into Power Automate. That's it. And our last step in this flow will be adding a SharePoint action called Create File. This action will help us create a file in docx format. And again, we select the same SharePoint site and in the folder path field, we specify the folder we created earlier to store the converted files. In the file name field, we need to find dynamic content name and don't forget to specify the extension. In this case, we put .docx. In the file content field, we need to select result file from the previous plum sale action. We're all done. Let's save and test this flow. After the test is completed, let's click Run Flow. And we get a notification that the flow ran successfully. So let's go back to SharePoint and check. And as you can see, the doc files are now converted to docx format. Let's open one of them and check. And as you see, the content of the file remained the same, only the format has changed. Now that we understand the logic behind this process, we'll be following almost the same steps, but this time we'll be converting files from XLS to XLSX format. As you can see, I've already created, tested, and ran this flow. And I'd like to highlight a few differences that distinguish this flow from the previous one. First, in the SharePoint action, get files properties only. In the filter query field, we specify EQ XLS. So this action will pull only Excel files in the older format. 
Next action is SharePoint Get File Content, and we select our SharePoint site and add identifier. After that, we're going to use Plum Sale Documents action, convert XLS to XLSX. In the Document Content field, we are selecting File Content from the previous step. And in the final step of this flow, which is a SharePoint action create file, we select the same SharePoint site and the folder where we want our files to be saved. In the file name field, we find dynamic content name, but this time we'll add extension .xlsx. In the file content field, we select result file from the previous action from Plum Sale Documents. And that's it, we're all done. And now let's look at a similar flow that will convert PowerPoint presentations from PPT to PPTX format. Similar to the previous two flows, this will be achieved with the help of Plum Sale Documents Connector. In the SharePoint action, get files properties only. In filter query field, we need to indicate EQ PPT. This action will pull only PPT files. Next, we have a SharePoint action, get file content. We select our SharePoint site and add identifier. After that, we are going to use Plum Sale Documents Connector, convert PPT to PPTX. Again, in the document content field, we select file content. And finally, in SharePoint action, create file, we select the SharePoint site and the folder where we want our files to be saved. In the file name field, we find dynamic content name, and this time we add extension .pptx. And in the file content field, we select result file from the previous Plum Sale documents action. And this completes the flow. So let's go back to SharePoint and check. Great, now we have all our files formatted and saved in one place. As you can see, it's pretty easy to set up a flow and use Plum Sale documents to convert old Microsoft Office formats to the modern ones. If you would like more information about the actions and terms mentioned in this video, click the link in the description and we'll take you to the article that has more detailed information. And if there's something we haven't covered or if you have questions, feel free to drop us a comment below and share your challenges and we'll demonstrate how they can be automated in one of our future videos. And if you haven't tried Plum Sale Documents yet, we offer a free 30-day trial that offers access to all the features so you can tackle those tedious tasks with the help of automation.